Honestine, I'm back with another reading. Today, I will be reading for my Sagittarius, and today we're going to be talking about your ex, okay? Now, if this reading resonates, please like, share, and subscribe. Not all elements in a reading are going to resonate with every Sagittarius. Please take what you can and leave the rest. And with that being said, let's get started. So, this is your ex's overall energy. This is the ex that's on your mind. This is the ex that you have um, a more intense connection with. Let's see, what is this X surrounding energy? Ooh, ooh, what happened? Backstab, betrayal, pain. Ooh, the Ten of Swords. Ooh, regret, Five of Cups, regret, walking away, missed opportunity. And then the Knight of Cups, wanting love, wanting to offer love. Wow. So this person is regretting the pain that they put you through, Sagittarius, and they wish they can give a cup of love, either an apology or a new offer on a relationship, okay? It's like he, they're looking down at you like, damn, I'm, I caused so much pain. I wish I can erase that and give that person love. Damn. Now this they know that you don't know you don't know no longer love them like that. Damn. Why is the Ten of Swords here? We have the Three of Cups. So something could have happened through a friend or through friendships or with someone they already knew. Hmm. I'm saying for some of you, each celebration that you guys did, Christmas, holiday, there was always some type of conflict or some type of betrayal. Then we have the Five of Cups. You have the um, Queen of Swords. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Gemini. Libra. It doesn't have to be. But I'm seeing, you know, they know. They they, they, do, they, they wish they weren't so uh, mean, condescending, analytical um, when it comes to you. Also, I'm seeing they had, they were not very... Um, friendly to your friends or they felt like you were too friendly okay let's see for the knight of cups we have the star so like I said you could be dealing with an Aquarius and they wish yeah they wish you, that you guys can be back together okay they wish they can give that love to you i don't give a damn if they with someone else they wish they was in love with you they wish they would have cut this person out before and start something new with you and that and it would have remained the same okay okay You know, and the ancestors or the universe or your higher self can see how things will happen depending on the variables that are presented and make life either harder or easier for you in order to get the full learning experience to gain knowledge, which is powerful. So just be aware of that. You know, this is it's slowly understanding that like these verbals had to be placed in your life in order for you to get to the next level. And they see in that now they see that what they went through with you was to push them farther in life. OK, and they 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 do appreciate that and they want to return the divine um, lesson of love. Now, this is not for all. OK, let's get some more clarity into these cards. So how do they see and how do they feel about Sagittarius? How do they see and how do they feel about Sagittarius? Okay. So we have the high priestess. You could be dealing with a Pisces. It doesn't have to be. Um, you could give great BJs. <laughs> I just talk stuff. <laughs> Don't listen to me. Um, but this person, you know, the high priestess, is someone who's very aware of 
their inner and outer wear world and they feel like you're you know for the most part you was kind of balanced they also feel like they they get you but they don't get you okay um let's see and then you have the page of swords you could have children with them if not um how they feel about you with the page of swords they feel like you were very you were over analytical um like i said they get you but they don't get you um, they feel like you were very snappy or quick to, to speak your mind, which I'm a Sagittarius and that is fucking true. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm quick to speak my mind. <laughs> mm, okay. And then you have the three of wands. So they feel like they had to move on because one minute you were hot, one minute you were cold, okay? Um, they feel like you were very snappy. Um, they feel like you were very, you were overthinking the things and they don't, they didn't think that they, you, they did not think that you, uh, saw them in your future. They kind of knew it was over because how you were acting, you were, you were kind of away from them, more internal. You have the high priestess, more internal and they can see that. Okay. Some of them are definitely keeping their eye on you. They're definitely looking at your social media, asking friends just to see exactly who you are and what you're doing. Okay, let's get some more clarity. And you know, when you become obsessed or too serious about your identity or who you think you are or who you think you're going to be, your perception of you can be limited. Okay? So be just be aware of that. That's just something I felt like I just had to say. You know, just like Adam and Eve, if you're going to seek evil in good knowledge or bite the fruit, you have to you have to understand the experiences that will come out of that and what that means is if you're understanding that somebody is not good for you and you sit there and entertain that you have to expect bad shit to happen and that's okay because at the end of the day it's experience okay so don't feel bad you see someone who's like they keep going back to that to that girl, that guy, they're stupid. In a way, they're gaining knowledge, and the knowledge is helping you out because you can look at that situation and that pe and those people and see how that's something you don't want to do. And the universe <laughs> in yourself is showing you that through them. So don't look at everyone and think just because they're um, tending to bad apples that they're bad people. No, their experiences, that's, that's still knowledge for you. If you're able to have that third eye and, and see it as that, okay? So just be aware of that. And that goes to yourself too. Yeah, if you feel compelled to keep being back with this person, don't, don't try to feel bad. You know, you gain experience. Was it, was it, is it a horrible experience? Yeah. Do you want to keep having those horrible experiences? It's up to you at the end of the damn day. Okay. Now the high priestess, why is the high priestess here? Ooh, the five of cups. Regret regret mm -hmm. they regret that they didn't get to know you on a deeper level mm -hmm. and then we have the page of swords Ugh, the page of swords again this person i think is spying i think they're trying to see if they're doing better in life than you for some reason they're trying to see if they're doing better in life okay or how what you're doing they're definitely comparing investigating some of you that could be dealing with court then you have the devil you could be dealing with a fucking capricorn the devil Ooh, hmm. They feel like it was very toxic. They feel like if they were to be with you, it would be a toxic future. Okay. Um, the devil also represents, you know, passion, fire. They feel like, yes, yeah, sex is good. They do when they look for when they think about you, they do think about sex, Sagittarius. Okay. Now, if this reading resonates, please like, share, subscribe. Thank you. This has been another Divine Honesty.